Hey guys, it's Paul from Montana. I have here a 1997 Sea-Doo GTI uh, 717 Rotax two cycle engine. Um, and so what I want to do here is a video to show you how the engine and the exhaust system are cooled on this machine. Uh, that way, you know, if you have any trouble with it, um, you know, you'll understand how it works and you can, you can maybe troubleshoot it a little bit better. Uh, so here we go. The first thing I did was I removed the reverse gate and the steering nozzle from the jet pump and put them off to the side. It's very easy to do. You just take, take these four bolts out, uh, these four locations here, and then you kind of spin the reverse gate out to the side and the steering nozzle will go down. You don't have to take linkages off or anything like that. Um, and also if you put the reverse gate kind of halfway down these bolts are all four of them are easy to get to when you remove them so I took that stuff off there so you can see in here real good or if you're going to diagnose your system for overheating this is a good place to start by taking these two items off here so you can really see what's going on so when a jet pump is running there's an impeller back in there that uh, is spinning inside of a wear ring and it's creating pressure inside of what's called a pressure zone in your uh, pump housing. This little box right here receives water from that pressure zone through three holes. Um, if I put my finger up in there I can easily feel those three holes. And those three holes must be 100% free of obstruction when you're running this machine or you will get uh, overheating troubles. So obviously the lower RPM you're going, the lower the pressure, higher, higher pressure, which works good for your machine because the higher RPM, the more heat's being created and the more water you need. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty good setup. So what happens is um, the water gets pressurized in this box here and it goes through the stern of the wave runner into the inside of the hull. It then enters the hole through this hose right here. This hose, this black hose closest to the center of the machine. And it goes up that hose and enters into this uh, top here. I think it's called a water jacket. Um, basically bolted onto the top of the cylinder head and that water enters in there and it gets divided out by some little casting walls that are cast in here so it's able to move in here and keep the, the head and the top of the engine nice and cool while it's running. And it then exits out the front here into this little tube assembly. And it also can exit out this hose right here which goes to the back of the motor. It's this black hose right here to the right of the one that we initially talked about. And this black hose exits the rear of the machine right here. I have a green fitting screwed on there. That's for water testing or flushing, uh, whichever you like to call it. And the water freely flows out of this. There should be no obstruction. So again, let's, let's start from the beginning real quick. Uh, water pressure is generated inside the pump housing. It's pumped up into this um, black box in the, in the pressure zone. And it's moved through this hose closest to the center, black hose, into the, uh, into the water jacket head cover. You can see there's an arrow that says in. It moves around inside of here, it exits out here, and it exits out to the front. And, uh, okay, so it exits out into this hose. It's shaped like a T, a T assembly. Um, so it goes through this big hose and it also, there's a small hose down in the bottom there, hoping that you can see it, uh, that the water is traveling through. So it goes, it goes through the big hose and it goes through the small hose. The large hose section feeds this pipe up here. This is a double wall pipe that is supposed to have water in it at all times when the machine is running. And it's bleeding out this, this top hose right here which exits back into the exhaust system down on the bottom. 
so it goes back into that fitting at the, the rear end of the cone. This, this hose here, I like to put a clear hose on here because then I can see if it's bleeding and if it's running water through here. It's kind of another uh, fail safe um, check, you know, when you run and you can take the seat off and look at that. So, uh, water's in this jacket. Additionally, it's running out the bottom of this exhaust manifold. It runs out the bottom of the exhaust manifold into this clear hose right here that I'm wiggling into a T. The T travels, then uh, allows water to travel either to the back of the exhaust system where it just gets dumped out the back end or it goes into this little black hose which goes to your telltale. Here's your telltale where it actually will, will um, pee a stream a lot of people call it, call it the P valve or whatever. It'll pee a stream out of here and it'll tell you if you have good water circulation. Um, in, I'm going to tell you right now if that's if you don't have water coming out of that I, I would get off the machine and I'd figure out why. Um, check out my other videos. I did one on how to how to troubleshoot this system. This one's just to explain how it works. Um, Okay, so I got to back up here a little bit. Water's coming out of this water jacket through this big hose, also going into the smaller hose. The smaller hose feeds water directly into the exhaust, not the double wall, down into the exhaust here where it gets ejected into this cone to help cool this cone down and to help cool this joint, this uh, hose joint, and then it just gets uh, flushed out the back of the machine. Eventually all this water ends up in a water box. This, this right here is called a water box. It's, it's basically a, a muffler with water in it. The exhaust gets forced through, through all the water in there. It kind of quiets the machine down. Plus it really cools off the exhaust before it enters this big hose here. Um, I have some tape on here just to... It, it contacts my um, plastic box that's in here and that's just a little extra protection so it's not rubbing. But um, the water exits um, through this large hose and then out the rear of the machine and it comes out right here along with your exhaust right here so um, that's about it that's the basics of the water system and how it works on this particular rave runner um, the newer ones might be a little bit different but um, you know I'd, I'd have to think the concept is pretty much the same on any of these uh, older two cycle wave runners um, I can't think of anything uh, that I forgot to tell you. Um, I've done two more videos related to this very same machine. One will help you troubleshoot your water system and the other is a video intended to help you increase the stream that comes out of the telltale because uh, I think these machines are a little bit notorious for a poor telltale stream and I can I did a video that shows you how you can increase that flow and make it more uh, more noticeable when you're out on the water um, so with that um, that's how the cooling system works on the sea and I, I hope that helps you out thanks for watching